All right, inst I'm installing recess lights right now, and I'm going to plaster walls. I measured, I measured four feet away from the wall, because it's kind of a big wall, and I made my circle. So now I gotta cut through that uh, plaster. What I used is a little uh, razor blade that went around the circle. And now I'm probably gonna chip at it with this little hammer with a little chisel hammer right here. There's a little chisel. Let's see if we can get that thing out nice and uh, round. All right, so I'm using LED recess kit, and it's um, it's pretty cool because you can adjust what, you know how bright the color. If you like 5,000K super white, or if you like the more yellow 27, it's got 3,000, 35, 4,000. It's pretty cool. So you can just flip up the switch. You can adjust how bright your light is. I'll show you on this one. This one's set at 5,000. Put it down to the lowest one. See how that dims it yellow? Bright white. There's in between. So that's really cool. And the way these install is there's little clips on them right here. You just push these up, slide it through the wall up there, through the hole, and then you let go. And then they'll hold with the pressure of that spring. You do your electricity, you unscrew these, and there's little clips in there just like this ones and you just push them in pretty easy you got one for ground one for your neutral one for your hot and then you got two more to run another light to it if you want to all right so I finished my hole here it doesn't have to be super perfectly round but um, just make sure your light goes in there um, what I use is one of these oscillating tools works really good okay this thing here and the blade went dull really fast but that, that's good for cutting the lath pieces here and you'll notice it's going to be loose once you once you cut your hole these lath end pieces will be a little loose here okay so take another little piece here run it inside go the length of the lath and then you're going to drill some screws through that and it'll sturdy up that loose loose uh, lath right there all right, once you got your cut almost, you know, where you want it, and you got a little bit of plaster that you need to go, just get a razor blade and just start cutting at it like this. And that, that plaster will, it will it's, you'll be able to cut it. work it until it's nice and round. Alright, so I had this Hercules wood plastic blade. It had some sharp blades diagonal right here. Pretty sharp. It was more for wood. I tried cutting through the plaster. It did work for a little bit, but it, as you can see, it grinded the, the little feet off real fast. So I can't cut through the wood no more. But don't throw this away if you got plaster walls, because this thing, just the vibration alone, and the thinness of that metal cuts this like butter and as you can see how nice and round I got that I use this with none of the blades at the tip and this thing just vibrates so good that it just allows you to cut a nice perfect circle to that plaster I did that one and the other one over there I didn't do it on the first two and those ones look like crap compared to this so that's a good little tip to keep these little old blades because they're thin enough to still cut through plaster of course I gotta go buy a new one now because I can't cut through the wood it just kind of makes a bunch of smoke if I try to cut through that but next I'll be running the wires all right for the electrical I'm going to be using 14-2 uh, the lights recommended 12-2 but I'm gonna go to 14-2 because uh, I believe that's code in most places anyway for lighting these LEDs they only take up like I don't know what it is, less than 20 watts per per bulb. So, and again, you got you can uh, adjust the appearance of the color, 2700K all the way up to 5000K. So 13 watts times four, that's 52 or so. So that's 
50 watts that's nothing for, to run 14.2 cable and I got way more than I needed just for if I ever want to run any more any more of these lights somewhere else so in this big room it's 20 by 14 20 by 15 in here and so I'm only using four one there one there and right here is the other two and as you can see it's not exactly too round it's kind of jagged my my uh, cutting so I'm gonna go and use that tool again and, and shave some more off so it's nice and round same thing with this one all right and uh, this ornament's gonna have to come down it's already broken and plus this thing is not even centered to my sliding door so you can see as I go up it's pushed to the left about a foot all right now I'm gonna run the cable what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it right through here through here I'm gonna take these laugh laugh boards off run it to here and then I'm gonna run it down this uh, piece here to here and then I'll run that one to the next one and then I'll run another cable going from here back this way running all the way down to here and then I'll plug it into there and then that one will plug into that all right so I like to wire up one of my lights before I put it up there as you can see I put it up here in the side you can knock that thing completely out I just made it big enough to get in there and then really it's simple you just push these thing into these little clips and then that's it and then just tuck it back into there and then screw the plate back on really simple so yeah pretty easy to install these compared to the old style which I'll show you right here this is the older style so you gotta screw those in right there those legs nail them in and then you gotta take this box out and put your wires through there it's kind of a pain in the butt it's so much simpler all right, I got the first one in. It was pretty damn easy. Just shove that thing in there. Those clips open up and they grip really tight. I mean, that thing's up there nice and snug. Uh, and that's good. That's what you want. You want that thing airtight. It looks really good. Fortunately, I haven't taken the, the wallpaper off yet, but I wanted to see what it looked like. And plus, I got to patch up all these little cracks in the plaster. Take all that wallpaper off, feel all this stuff in here, <laughs> a lot of work. But uh, I didn't get this on camera, but the other day I fixed the, the wire that goes up to the breaker box upstairs because what they did is they ran that thick cable going outside of the wall and through this hole. So I had to go and turn off all the power, take the cable out from the fuse box upstairs, pull it back out, and that's really thick gauge cable. Pull it back out and then go back in through this way into the wall so I wouldn't have that showing and now I could patch up those holes <sighs> but yeah I'm getting there so now I got my wire hanging here and all I have to do is uh, run a wire going down to the switch here run it up here run it down there and then I'll meet it in this light here and then I'll tie it into that light and then I'll take another cable and run it to these lights over here all right, for the old wiring that's up in this ornament here, I found a wire to it. It's this one right here. This real old wire here. It's got a red wire in it. I don't know where that goes, but I know this wire is uh, the one for that one up there because this is the hot that was connected to it. When I disconnect it, there's no power up there. When I connect it, there's power. On the left side of the left leg up there on the left side, there's power. That tells me that's the wire, the switch. There used to be a switch here for it. This is the power in. All right, got the new wire ran. I ran it from this light going in here and down here. And here it is, the new wire here. And that one's pretty simple. You just plug in the, the whites, common. And then you got your black wire, you run that one to your switch. And the other black wire runs to the, the wire coming from up there. This one's a dimmer switch, so you can see. And this is all, they're all on the 5000K brightness. That's it dimmed. That's it off. You can see there's no twitching. Some of these things twitch. Uh, some of the cheap LEDs that you can buy on eBay and stuff 
heard of people getting ones that are twitch. You have no static, no twitching, no noise. God damn it. This is just a uh, Lutron dimmer. Nothing fancy. Probably paid 20 bucks for it. But yeah, works perfectly. <laughs> 